By now, you probably heard about the passing of the legendary Japanese musician Ryuichi Sakamoto on March 28th, 2023. But what exactly are the Japanese saying about him? These are the three facts that the Western media would never talk about. Hello world, this is Dean from Japan. How are you doing today? If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification button on so you won't miss a video. So here are the three facts. Let's start with the basics first. Ryuichi Sakamoto was the member of the 80s synth pop band the Yellow Magic Orchestra. And this clip proves that the 80s was a confusing time both in the West and in Asia. He also starred in the film Merry Christmas Mr. Lawrence where he did the music and made out with, I mean, <laughs> starred alongside David Bowie. He won both the Grammy and the Oscars for best score for the movie The Last Emperor. Here's the bigger problem for the Oscars. Nobody watches the best picture movies five years out. Nobody. Oh, ben Shapiro, don't you have a Super Mario live action movie to star in as the Toad or something? Even when he was at the height of popularity, Ryuichi Sakamoto didn't take himself too seriously and appeared in these comedy skits that he later regretted because he saw them as part of the Japanese bullying culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I really don't get the sense of humor of the 80s. But one thing I can still appreciate, even to this day, is that he worked as a producer for Geisha Girls, a musical unit with these comedians. To the party and crowd, So he still had a sense of humor, but while most people become more conservative and boring as they grow older, he actually became more outspoken about his anti-war and environmental messages. Which kinda pissed off a lot of conservatives, as you could imagine. Right after the news of his passing, conservatives started digging up his old clips and mocked him for a speech he did during the anti-nuclear energy protest. This famous Japanese conservative account says, Everyone applauding here. Are your brains functioning? People cannot live without electricity. To which someone replied, Yuichi, your synthesizer won't work without electricity. You're saying this after all the money you made from electricity? His anti-war message was also ridiculed in this trending tweet by an economist that said, this is an amazing quote that just shows how out of touch some Japanese people are. The Economist goes on to say that people from Ryuichi Sakamoto's generation was taught to take peace for granted like a fool. They lost their objective after the Cold War ended and joined the anti-nuclear power and environmentalist cult. This was seen all over the world. And I gotta say, you also see something similar with, say, Studio Ghibli's anime director Hayao Miyazaki. He also has a lot of bad political takes, but I think artistic people can be really naive when it comes to their views of international relations. But at the same time, it's this naivety that allows them to create beautiful work that resonates with people. So next up, <sighs> I really don't want to go over this, but one of the most read articles about Ryuichi Sakamoto in Japan right now is this one. Ryuichi Sakamoto, a life filled with many women. <sighs> I mean, there's a theory that says that human language evolved from gossiping, so I think it's just human nature, but seriously, people want to talk about this? 
Anyway, this channel is called What the Japanese are talking about this week, so my soul may get crushed by going over this, but let's go. The article said that he first got married when he was just 20 years old while still attending university. During his time at university, he was also involved in anti-government leftist student movement in hopes of becoming popular with the ladies. And the thing is, I think we still see guys like that at university nowadays. He then started dating the singer Taiko Onuki, the singer that appears a lot on your YouTube recommendation list. I'm talking about this bit. Then he started dating the jazz singer Akiko Yano while still being married to his first wife. He and Akiko did later get married, but even when he was still married to Akiko, he was rumored to have had relationships with big name celebrities of the time, such as the punk singer Jun Togawa, made famous for today's audience through TikTok, the famous actress Miki Nakatani that Japanese men still salivate over to this day, and another actress Mayu Tsurita, whom I have no idea about because I'm not from that generation. His marriage with Akiko ended when he was found to have been having an affair with his Japanese art director that had been going on since the year 1990 or so. Andrew Tate can go on and on about what to do to become a big shot chad, but Ryuichi Sakamoto with his fame, unique personality, and sheer talent will always get more girls than that former Big Brother housemate and TikTok star anytime. So after watching all this, what do you think is the most famous and appreciated songs by Sakamoto in Japan? Immediately after the news of his passing, Miki Nakatani, an actress that he worked as her music producer, started trending on Twitter. And it's really obvious. Even when I watch her music videos today, I have to say that the visuals and the music is definitely haunting and has a timeless quality. It's a masterpiece that was overlooked in the West. Yukito Ayatsuji, a mystery writer who wrote the horror series Another, and who probably think about murder all the time, every day, but even this death-obsessed guy was saying, this is a CD that I listened to the most for the few years after its initial release in 1996. I still listen to it, and it's a great album. And I have to share this trending tweet because I agree with it completely. It says, as someone who is into the 90s culture, this is my favorite song by Ryuichi Sakamoto. What a cool opening for a drama series. One of my personal favorite songs by Sakamoto is Chronic Love by Miki Nagatani. And I gotta say, I think I heard this song so many times that I remember all the words to it. What is your favorite Sakamoto song? Thank you for watching and I would like to end this video by showing his favorite quote. 